Well, I'm Heather McLean, and I'm a professor in the environmental engineering. So my uh, different roles in the in the department and at the university include uh, I teach uh, two undergraduate classes, um, one at the third year and one at the fourth year level. One is to civil engineering students, the other to engineering science students in the infrastructure option. And then I also teach a graduate course on uh, evaluating uh, sustainability implications of uh, products, process, and engineering activities. So my second role in the department is uh, involving uh, research, and I have a number of different research projects involving undergraduate and graduate students, as well as industry and government collaborators. And uh, so involving uh, funding and different uh, scopes of projects from a lot of different sources. So well, currently I have a number of different uh, research projects and uh, they sort of fall into the area of looking at uh, energy systems and which energy systems, particularly either ones that are out there currently or emerging technologies for example. So we're looking at uh, environmental, economic, technical and then sometimes some social aspects associated with these energy systems. So one of the projects we have is looking at bioenergy systems and uh, a recent project is looking at aviation biofuels. So we are developing some uh, process-based models to examine different technologies that are out there for, to produce aviation biofuels. And we're trying to determine which may have the potential for either large-scale use, which would have the lowest greenhouse gas emissions, which would have attractive economics, which would have lower energy, use and overall sort of which of these may become sort of adopted at a larger scale for use in the aviation industry. Um, the aviation industry is looking to reduce their greenhouse gas emissions by 2020 and then 2050 and so determining what role if any uh, essentially biofuels will play in this and how much reduction can be achieved uh, is going to be critical. So I have a number of master's students as well as a postdoctoral fellow working on the aviation biofuels project. And we are as well looking at some additional transportation biofuels examples. We develop and as well apply life cycle systems based approaches. Sometimes we develop models to integrate life cycle assessment with alternative technologies, alternative uh, developments of models, such as uh, real options approaches, life cycle costing, and as well more detailed sort of chemical process modeling software such as, as Aspen Plus. The overall aim of the projects is to determine really the sort of advantages, disadvantages, um, quantitatively, but also qualitatively, of novel products, processes, et cetera, for producing uh, these biofuels. So are these biofuels actually better or worse for the environment? Um, and if so, then can we move for further on to examine the, the full scale sort of implications of them? So who benefits from my research? Well, I hope there's a, a large uh, set of beneficiaries of the research. Um, I guess to, in the broadest extent, we hope that uh, the information from obtained from our studies uh, will inform public policies in the future, will uh, inform decision makers within industry as to perhaps which uh, technologies uh, they should move forward with, will it give some information about uh, the environmental performance of of technologies that are either in the development phase or, or currently are have been implemented. More directly, uh, the research uh, has benefits in the classroom as I'm able to present uh, sort of up-to-date uh, research results and information associated with my projects and associated with collaborations we have in industry and, and government and present that to both uh, graduate and undergraduate students in the coursework, integrate that into sort of coursework and as well, it benefits the graduate students and undergraduates uh, directly working with me on the projects uh, because most of them all go out to, to get really great jobs in the, when they finished at U of T. And uh, graduates from the group are very sought after from government and industry as well as academic roles. And so, uh, you know, overall, that's one of uh, professors' greatest successes uh, are to see their graduate students go on and uh, make more money than they do and uh, go on to, to better, bigger and better things than the professors that taught them. So uh, I'm excited to stay in touch with my graduate students after they leave the group as well as undergraduates. And uh, 
So that's, I think, one of the most rewarding aspects of being a professor.